Hello, welcome to Lasses Food and Barbecue. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to um, braise lamb shanks, and I'm going to do it in um, in my cast iron wok on my kettle. You can do it on the stove if you like, or in the oven. Uh, the point is that you need to um, sear the lamb shanks first, and then boil them in some kind of uh, bracing liquid. Uh, and I'm going to be using this today. I'm going to have some uh, crushed tomatoes, uh, chili and basil, a bottle of wine, some lamb shanks of course, salt, pepper, garlic, uh, some onions, garlic and a couple of parsnips. Um, I'm also later on going to add uh, a little bit of uh, beef stock and uh, water just to cover it up once it's all on there. But I'm going to start out by uh, peeling and chopping the uh, vegetables that go in the wok and then I'm going to start by uh, cooking them until they're a little bit translucent before adding the liquid and bracing the lamb shanks. I'll do the lamb shanks last because I want the onions and stuff just to work with everything. So uh, I'm going to be using lump charcoal today because uh, I think I need the heat for that. I'm not going to cook this very high at a very high temp but it needs to be high enough anyway to keep the liquid boiling all the way through. Um, if I lose liquid I'm gonna just add a little bit more as I go along. This recipe is adapted from one that uh, my friend Ori over at Go Outside and Cook made the other the other week with the other whatever whenever it was and I saw it the other week anyway. Saw it yesterday again just because I want to repeat and I've made it mine, and adding and just subtracting a few things, um, just because if you want to do his recipe, you can just go to his page, and I'm going to put the link up there, so you can do that. Anyway, so I'm going to chop these parsnips in chunks like that, into the wok they go. Okay, so garlic into smaller pieces. It's all gonna boil for a couple of hours anyway, so it doesn't have to be that small. It's gonna give a lot of a taste anyway. I'm not very fond of mincing the garlic because I think it has a tendency of growing too bitter then. Anyway, so that goes in there. And I think it's time to put this onto the kettle. There we go. As you can see, I've uh, put the uh, charcoal out to the side, something like that. It's hot. A little bit of oil. And I'll let that cook. I'm not really going to trim these. I'm just going to spice them up. And I think I'm going to be um, using. Uh, this spice only could actually use quite a lot. Because it's going to go in the sauce anyway, just like Ori said. So, we're going to go over here. It smells really nice here. I'm just going to sear this over the coals and there I think I think it's time to start turning this around a little bit this is more or less what we're looking for not that, but that. Give them a minute on that side and then take the ends and then into the pot they go. Okay, so the garlic is starting to brown, so I'm going to add the tomatoes. 
in there. That's boiling. And in goes the wine. We'll see. That looks good. And it goes. Yeah, that one as well. Okay. They're almost covered, so we're not going to need much water in there. I'm going to have to add a little bit along the right. Anyway, half a cup of beef stock. Should have been lamb stock, but I didn't have that. And then a little bit of water. Just like so. We'll see. Give it a mix. Let's see how this lid works. It's got a wooden handle. Might not work, but we'll see. And there we go. And then we take the big lid and put that on. Open the vent a little bit. Close down the intake to half. Air, air vents to half. And I'll see you back in three hours or so. Uh, so it's been three hours. Um, and this. This is what it looks like. It's been a, a healthy boil, more or less the whole time. And that's the way I wanted it to be. So this looks like it's falling apart and I'm going to see if I can lift it up and show it to you. That's what we call a healthy pullback, right? I'll give it a taste before I bring it in and serve it up on a plate. Okay, so this is what we have now. This is actually falling apart, falling off the bone. I'm going to try to keep this together before we serve it, but I'm going to taste the piece. Yeah, uh, lamb shanks braised on the Weber kettle. Oh. Smells really nice. Mm. Extremely tender. You can taste the red wine and um, the tomato in there. Onion and garlic, of course. Yeah, uh, all of the flavors actually. I'm gonna try one of these parsnips as well. Mm. Tastes just as good. I mean, this is this is awesome. Thank you, Ori. Hmm. I really enjoyed doing that. Thank you for watching. Bye.